Hello everyone, James here and uh, this is officially my second video. Um, it seemed that the first video was quite popular so I decided I would do another. And this morning I'm still in Fuzhou but I'm visiting West Lake and I will do a very similar video as before where I will walk and talk and give some information. So let's get started. So here I am in uh, Fuzhou West Lake. I've just walked through the main entrance and decided to stop on the bridge overlooking the first section of the lake you can see behind me here. Uh, Fuzhou West Lake Park itself was built a very long time ago. It has a history of nearly 2,000 years. I believe it's 1,700 years. And it's obviously changed and been modified during that time. Um, but it was built around 280, I think, two, two, 280 to 300 uh, during the Jing Dynasty. And it, it's a beautiful place. And here, um, I'll just pan around to show you this bridge here. And during, during springtime, it's actually peach blossoms actually blooming uh, across the entire bridge and uh, these are the peach blossom trees behind me I'll pan around and show you behind me here the colors are sensational uh, and we've got hundreds and hundreds of people here taking photos of the peach blossoms as they blossom so right now it is five minutes to seven in the morning and you can see there's already people out having their morning run and morning walk um, you can see all the peach blossom trees I mentioned earlier behind me and they span the bridge and the walkway to the main entrance which I walked through earlier and the entire Fuzhou as I mentioned in my previous videos is an incredible city it's um, some people may say it's a little bit behind in terms of other cities but I don't quite believe that. It's, it's growing and developing incredibly fast. And it was not so long ago, I believe, five years, I'm guessing, uh, that Fuzhou didn't even have a metro or subway. It does now. And it spans the entire city. And it's incredible. You've got everything here. I mean, you, it's becoming more sophisticated. Um, You've got new, new buildings popping up everywhere. You've got incredible restaurants, seafood, local Fujinese food. And you've even got cafes popping up everywhere. And the quality of the cafes are superb. And me being a bit of a coffee snob, I love coffee. And not just coffee, I love cafes. So I enjoy visiting different cafes, sitting, maybe reading, doing some writing, editing videos. And Fujo offers everything that I could possibly want in a city. In fact, it actually offers me more than I could expect. And coming from a Western country myself, uh, with what people would say developed cities, Fujo and China in general actually offers more than I could have had back home in terms of convenience, food, sightseeing. It's amazing.
here I am on another bridge, one of many that you will find here at Fujo Westlake. And behind me here, you can see the peach blossoms where I was walking earlier, just here on the bridge and road going across the section of the lake. Uh, that area there, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, is called Willow Bank. And Willow Bank was built in the 1930s to showcase the peach blossoms and what an incredible job it does because during the season when those peach blossoms are blooming, it's beautiful and spectacular. And, and with this section here, over the other side behind me, here is pretty much an internal island to the lake and it houses an art gallery, museum and theatre. It's incredible. I'll take you over there shortly. And behind me here, uh, you can see it's almost a daily event in the mornings and especially at night when you have the mothers and grandmothers and even the young people out here dancing. Here in Fuzhou, the locals speak both Mandarin and the local dialect, which is Fuzhou Hua. And many of you may or may not know that in China there are 302 spoken languages, and China as a country, China as a whole, works very hard to maintain, to save and preserve those languages. So here I am again, approaching another bridge, and as I said, there's many of them, I'm not going to count. Uh, but over this bridge here leads to the central island area of Fuzhou, Westlake, which, um, as I mentioned before, ho houses the museum, art gallery and theatre. I'm going to take a quick walk over there now. To give you a sense of scale of how large the lake is, because looking at it from a popular maps application on your mobile phone, it might not look that big, but 
the lake and parklands itself has a walkway around the outside, the entire outside of the lake has a walkway, which is just over 4,000 meters, four kilometers. And that's around the outside. So then you've got the little islands and pockets within the lake with pathways branching off everywhere, just like the trees, because here there are trees everywhere. It's beautifully green. Probably wondering what the boat is in the background with the, the large ferris wheel. It's actually an aquarium. Here I am at the east side of the lake, just um, walking out to one of the small pagodas to have a look at the view. You can see behind me the walkway going all the way behind me into the distance. That's where I started the walk today and that's where I'm heading. So now I'm walking on the last part of Fujo Westlake, heading back to where I first started the walk today. So that concludes my English walking tour of Fujo Westlake. And if you're ever in town, ever here in Fujo, Fujo Westlake is definitely a place to visit. And there's more to see here than I could fit into the video. So make sure you spend at least a good half day here. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.